She first came to our attention on Coronation Street, but now she's the star of the brilliant, gritty war drama Our Girl. It is Michelle Keegan. <laughs> Have you back here? Thank you for having me. Well, last Thanks. time you came, uh, you were just about to leave Coy. Yeah, a few of months course, off. and that's all happened now. And that was was that something you wanted? Though, did you ask them to write you out, or was that just the way the story went? No, it was it was my decision to leave. Right. It took me a long time to make that decision. It was like I think two years it took me to make the final decision. Oh God, that picture. Um, <laughs> um, but yeah, it you, was you a look hard much decision. paler there than you do I here do. today. But <laughs> I have, all right, I've been on holiday before wait, you say the orange show. I've been on holiday. But you're always this colour. I'm not. <laughs> I've literally been on holiday, that's why I'm, I'm darker. Okay, okay. Um, but yeah, and it was their idea to kill the character, which... And so were you happy with that, though? Would you rather have had the door open to return if you wanted to? Yeah, obviously, you know, at first I was a bit shocked because, you know, I, I played it for six and a half years, but in the long run it helped because, it, you know, it pushes you forward. The, the last few weeks you must have been filming quite a lot in that hospital bed because yes. uh, you, you, you hung on in there for a while. Yeah, I didn't die straight away. I fell off the building ha and I got bludgeoned to death. Yeah. And then I was in a coma for three weeks. Wow. So it's quite violent. Uh, so you're in a coma three weeks in the, in the terms of... How long did you shoot, though, in the bed? How long were you filming the coma scenes? <sighs> uh, I think it was, like, eight hours a day in bed, which is my favourite kind of day. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, I didn't uh, mind is, that. Is there a danger that you might actually fall asleep while you're there? I, funny you should say that, because when Barbara Knox um, was doing a scene, you know, who plays Rita, um, she was doing, like, an emotional, like, speech to me and speaking about our memories together, and I actually drifted off. <laughs> <laughs> and I twi like, I, I twitched, which made her jump. Wow. So, <laughs> so I ruined the whole, uh, the whole take for her. Wow. Have, you ever, have you ever played a, a person in a coma or, or, or when dead for any period of time, Michael? I did a movie called Coma. Of course. A long time ago. <laughs> <laughs> well, it might have been a... It might have been... Well, you're laughing, but it might have had nothing to do with comas. <laughs> <laughs> um, and so then Our Girl has been a huge hit for you. Mm -hmm. uh, congrats. I don't know if you watched it. Did you watch Our Girl, ladies and gentlemen? Yeah. Georgie Lambert is a great character for you. Yeah. And you... And, you know, really, I, it's almost like I can see you were stretching your acting muscles during these yeah. different roles. And once again, physically, a very demanding role, I would have thought. Yeah, we had to do two weeks' worth of boot camp, uh, one in England at Sandhurst and um, one in South Africa. Yeah, so obviously I had to learn the military training and the, the medic, medical side of the aspects of the job as well. Uh, we've we talked uh, with both the gentlemen here about uh, performing physical scenes mm. entangled mm. with other people. Yeah. Uh, and uh, one of the big first scenes in, in Algo was a uh, big sex scene. To be fair, it wasn't that big, but it got... <laughs> well, it don't got say that, you might be watching. <laughs> <laughs> you just upset someone yeah. massively. <laughs> Oh, that was cold. I always said the wrong thing. No, I mean, this. it wasn't, you know, it was... It... <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, so it was, it was a scene where it went into a sex scene. It wasn't full-on sex scene. Okay. Yeah.